Questions 21 through 25 on the 2019 Grade 8 AMC 8. What is the area of the triangle formed by the lines y equals 5, y equals 1 plus x, and y equals 1 minus x? Let us first draw a graph, and then we'll get an understanding of what this looks like. So y equals 5, that's just a straight line across around there, say, if this is 5. This is 5 right here. And then the other two, y equals 1 plus x and y equals 1 minus x, we can just plot a couple points and then join them. So for this one, y equals 1 plus x, when x is 0, y is 1. And when x is negative 1, y is 0. So around there, approximately. So let's draw the a line through those two points, and you get something like that. And in a very similar way, let's plot this one. When x is 0, y is 1, so it would be the same point. But when x is 1, uh, y is 0. So let's join those two. And when you do, you get something like that. OK. So now the triangle that they want us to figure out the area of is this guy right here. So that should be pretty straightforward. That's the base, and this is the height. OK, well, it would be helpful if I can get these two points, and that won't be much of a problem. And then this is the easiest, I think, because this point right here we know is 1. So this is going to be 4 in terms of that distance. So now I just have to concentrate on getting these two points, and those are the intersection points. The first intersection point, I think, is between y equals 5 and y equals 1 plus x. So set them equal to each other. 5 is equal to 1 plus x, so therefore x is 4. OK, that makes sense. So this is 4. And then the other intersection point is y between y equals 5 and y equals 1 minus x. So 5 is equal to 1 minus x when you set them equal to each other. So this time, x is negative 4. So this is negative 4. OK, so that means the distance from here to here would be 8. So that triangle, the area is 1 half base times height. The base is 8. The height is 4. And that looks like 16. So number 21, the answer is E. A store increased the original price of a shirt by a certain percent and then decreased the new price by the same percent. Given that the resulting price was 84% of the original price, by what percent was the price increased and decreased? Well, the first thing that you did was you uh, increased the price by a certain amount. So 1 plus x over 100. And you multiply that by the price. And then you take the same uh, result and you decrease that by the same percentage. So 1 minus x over 100. And that is equivalent to 84%, so 0 0.84 of the original price. So this is my equation. The p's cancel. So now we're just, if you expand this, 1 plus x over 100 minus x over 100 minus x squared over 100 squared is equal to 0.84. Well, these two cancel. And then if I bring the 0.84 over, it becomes one, uh, 0.16 is equal to x squared over 100 squared. And then if I take the square root of both sides, this becomes x over 100, and this becomes 0.4. And therefore, cross multiply, and you get x equal to 40. 40% 40 is the answer, number 22, that would be E. After Euclid High School's last basketball game, it was determined that one quarter of the team's points were scored by Alexa, and two sevenths were scored by Brittany. Chelsea scored 15 points. None of the other seven team members scored more than two points. What was the total number of points scored by the seven team members? All right, well, we don't know the total number of points. So we have Alexa scores P over 4. I'll let P be the number of total points. Brittany scores 2P over 7. And then Chelsea scores 15. All right, now this sum will basically be the sum of those three. 
uh, we also have to consider that there's seven other team members but let's just figure out this what it gives me in terms of a, a fraction 7p plus 8p over 28 plus 15 and that is 15p over 28 plus 15 now the number of points scored has to be an integer so that means this has to be an integer and that means that p must be a multiple of 28 that's the only way this is going to be. Okay, so let's try. Let's try multiples of 28. First, let's try 28 and see what happens with A, B, and C. And the rest of the team. A, B, and C, and then I'll say R for the rest. If P is 28, then A would be P over 4, which is 7. And then 2p divided by 7 would be 8. c is fixed as 15. Now, immediately when I look at that, that already exceeds 28. So that doesn't make any sense, right? So p is most likely not 28. Let's try the next multiple of 28, which is 56. If p is 56, then p over 4 would be 14. And then 2p over 7 would be 16 and uh, C is fixed at 15 so so far what do we have here I have 45 so this is 45 so that means R is equal to 56 minus 45 the total minus what these three scored the rest of the team scored uh, 56 minus 45 and that's 11 and that works out so number 23 the answer is B In triangle ABC, point D divides side AC so that AD to DC, the ratio, is 1 to 2. Let E be the midpoint of BD and let F be the point of intersection of line BC and line AE. Given that the area of ABC is 360, what is the area of EBF? Well, this is 1 to 2, so that means this triangle area compared to that triangle's area is also in the ratio 1 to 2. So the total area is 360, so that means this area would be 120, this triangle, and this area would be 240, because those ratios have to be 1 to 2 in terms of the area. Okay, so now they told me that E is the midpoint, right? E is the midpoint of BD. So that means that this is equivalent to that in terms of the area. That line cuts that line BD in half, and therefore it would cut the area of the triangle in half. So the whole thing was 120, so that means this is 60 and this is 60. Okay, so now let's draw a line from E to C, like that. And again, using this 1 to 2 ratio, it tells me that this area and this area also have to have a 1 to 2 ratio. Well, this area is 60, so that means this area must be twice that, which is 120. Now, at this point, I'm not sure what is this so I'm going to just call it, call it A, and I'm also not sure what is this. I'm going to call it B. Okay, so now I also don't know the ratio here. It would be very helpful if I did, but I don't. Just how I do know here, I don't know here. So that means that BF over FC is the same as A over B. And also BF over FC, if you look at the entire uh, triangle is the same as 60 plus A over all these guys which is 60 plus 120 plus B so 180 plus B like that and now I guess we can use one last fact that A plus B we can figure that out because the whole triangle is 360 and we know that this is 60 this is 60 this is 120 so that means that a plus b 
must be 360 minus that 60, 60, and 120. Minus this 60, minus that 60, minus that 120. So it's 360 minus 240. So that means A plus B must be equal to 120. And from that, I can write that B is equal to 120 minus A. Okay, I think I have everything I need. I can now set this equal to this, since they're both equal to F, BF over FC. So A over B is equal to 60 plus A over 180 plus B. And then use this fact that B is equal to 120 minus A. So A is equal to uh, A over 120 minus A. 60 plus A, 180 plus B, which is 120 minus A. Okay, now let's do some cross multiplying, I guess. So it's going to be 120 minus A times 60 plus A. And on this side, that's going to be A times 300 minus A, like that. All right, so when we do this cross multiplication, you get 120 times 60, and then plus 120A minus 60A minus A squared, and that is equal to 300A minus A squared. The A squareds cancel from both sides, and you are left with just 120 times 60, and when you collect all the A's, you get two, 240a. So a would be 120 times 60 over 240. And that means a is equal to 60 over 2, which is 30. So number 24, the answer is b. Alice has 24 apples. In how many ways can she share them with Becky and Chris so that each of them has at least two apples? Well, there are a few different approaches to this question. There's a short way, and then there's a very, very long way. The very long way I'll spare you. And the short way is something that definitely is very nice. So that's what I'll show. OK, so what we do is we kind of initially have some sort of scenarios in our mind. Alice, Becky, and Chris. Now, there's 24 apples, so how can I distribute them? I can give 20 and then 2 and then 2. If I give 20 to one person, the other can have 2, 2. You, can have, you cannot have 20, 3, and 1. Even though this adds up to 24, remember this rule that each of them has to have at least 2 apples. So 2 is the minimum that each of them can have. Okay, let's move down to 19. If 1 gets 19, now we have to distribute the other uh, 5 apples with the other 2, and there's only two ways of doing that. Either you give 3, 2, or 2, 3, like that. Okay, now let's go to 18. If it's 18, then we have 6 apples to distribute. That can be only distributed as follows, 4, 2, um, 3, 3, and 2, 4, 4, 18. Some of you might see a pattern, some of you may not, so let's keep going. How about 17? Now I've got seven apples to distribute among B and C. That can be done with 5, 2, 4, 3, 3, 4, and 2, 5. So that's 17. And let's do one more, just in case you haven't seen the pattern yet. Uh, 24 apples, 16 have been assigned, so 8. 6, 2, 5, 3, 4, 4, 3, 5, 2, 6. So there we go. Now I could keep going, but I think by now you probably see a pattern. Let me separate these to make it a little bit more clear. For this one, there was only one way when A was assigned 20. For this one, there was two ways. Here was three ways, four ways, five ways. And as you can see, this will keep going. 
Now this, of course, will keep going, dot, 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 until you get the very end, which will be a minimum of two, because remember, at least two have to go to each person. And there'll be a whole bunch of scenarios for B and C, but the number here will be 19. Because if you notice, this number and that number always add up to 21. So therefore, that is 19. So really, what you're doing is you're adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all the way till 19. 1 plus 2 plus 3, dot, 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 all the way until 19. And some of you may know that formula. n times n plus 1 divided by 2, where n in this case is 19. So it would be 19 times 19 plus 1 divided by 2. That's 19 times 20 divided by 2, which is 19 times 10, which is 190. So that is the quick method to do number 25, and that would mean number 25, the answer is C.